flip over into a tabletop. We're gonna do some cat cow. Cat cow is one of the best exercises you can do for your spine. It's recommended by physical therapists, by tons of people. So we're gonna start with the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. As you inhale, open your chest toward the front, lift your butt up, arch your back. And as you exhale, round your back, pull your sternum, your chest toward your back, stretch your shoulder blades, and then tuck your chin and look slightly down. Inhale, arch. And you can do this on your own pace, by the way. Opening up the chest, arching your back, looking forward, exhale and round. Tucking your chin, looking behind you and stretching your back. A few more of these on your own pace. And I just wanna point out some things that might help you. Squeeze your thighs toward one another to help protect your spine. You're also going to get a bit better of a stretch here. And it also helps to think of lengthening from the mid back up. A lot of us have a lot of neck and posture issues. If you focus on lengthening from the mid back up through the top of your head, you're going to get way more out of this exercise. Last one, inhaling to arch. And exhaling to round. Nicely done. All right, from here we're gonna take it into a child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touch. Walk your arms out in front of you. Relax your forehead down. And then press down through your right hand. Lift your left hand off the ground just an inch or two. So you're gonna feel a lot of muscle working in your upper back. This is helping your body learn what that proper engagement feels like. This is incredibly important for preventing injury and pain in your shoulder. So continue to squeeze up just 10 more seconds. Make sure that shoulder is pulled down, not pressing it up and away from you, but keeping that shoulder kind of plugged into your back. Three, two, one, release. Plant your left hand, lift your right arm up, keep the forehead down, keep the hips back. Turn your right thumb to face up. Again, plug that shoulder into your back and then lift it up as high as you can. Less than 30 seconds total, so we're almost halfway there. And again, this is so helpful for your shoulders in terms of strength and also in mobility with opening up your chest. It's more than just stretching. We need to do more than just flexibility work. We also have to build strength to fix your body, and this is part of it. All right, release that down.